What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today I have a video for you on gaming glasses and if they actually work. In my hands are the Gunner Computer Eyewear. And I feel like these Gunners are the most popular name on their product line. So I wanted to get my hands on and tell you guys all about my experience in case you're thinking of picking something like these up. Now first I kind of have to clear the water a bit. I think there's a common misconception that these are just gaming glasses. Maybe it's because they're heavily marketed as gaming glasses. Maybe it's because at every major gaming event people are wearing these. Or maybe it's because I bought these at Best Buy in the gaming section next to their Call of Duty setup and display. These actually have nothing to do with gaming whatsoever. I'm going to read you the box here and it's going to kind of tell you um, what they mean to accomplish. It's meant to prevent dry eyes. It's going to offer distortion free optics. The tint is going to filter out blue light and UV and its coating will reduce glare. Now when you take a look at the color spectrum of light, blue actually gives off the most energy which is potentially dangerous to our eyes and it's causing them to strain. And actually things like your TV, your monitor, your laptop and your phone all give off those same rays which in return is damaging our eyes much quicker due to how often we're in front of those things and you know we're constantly on our phones checking Twitter 24-7. Our eyes are much more prone now to being damaged whether you know it or not. And yes with the amount of blue in my setup behind me, I'll be permanently blind in around two weeks. That's where these glasses come into play. With that filter it kind of gives everything a yellowish orangish tint to it. Think of it kind of like applying a tungsten filter whenever you wear these. And actually when you're staring at something like, you know, your wall or a white desk, that color, that color shift is much more noticeable. But actually when you are gaming or you're staring at a screen, that color shift is much less drastic and you're barely going to even notice it. It's really only with colors that are like a light or powder blue. That'll now shift to white since the tint is kind of equaling that out and you really won't even notice that much of a color change in whatever you're doing. Still I wouldn't use these for color or video editing and color correction but when you're gaming the color change is not going to be a problem at all. Now when it comes to the appearance of these I'll be the first to say that I am not the biggest fan. Um, yes you can buy them in different colors and you know uh, frame shapes and sizes. But uh, they're, just, they're just not doing much for me. I definitely wouldn't wear these out in public. Definitely safe for you know your own living room or your gaming bedroom or whatever. Uh, but now I kind of feel like I look like uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And I'm sure only five of you out there are going to understand that reference. So yeah, not the biggest fan of how these look. But they are pretty durable and they feel pretty nice with this matte black coating on them. Now in terms of my experience, I wore these for a week straight every time I was watching TV or gaming and I also wore these two hours before bed every single night. Now with that blue light we talked about there's also an added side effect which makes it harder for you to fall asleep at night whether that makes sense to you or not it's scientifically proven. That's why a lot of monitors now are having that blue light filter built in and even your phone you can start to change the color temperature at night so you are eliminating your exposure to the blue light. But for my week with wearing these two hours before bed I really didn't notice a big change in my sleep cycle as it is. I mean I, I'm a pretty restless sleeper it takes me like two hours at night before I even fall asleep. I can lay down at 12 and I won't fall asleep till like 2. And with these I didn't notice a change in that at all. I didn't fall asleep any quicker. Another thing with these glasses like I said uh, when I read the back of the box earlier was the fact that it has that anti-glare built in. Um, for that I think that's kind of bogus as well. I, uh, I, I purposely put a panel right next to my monitor so it was a very harsh light on it and then I kind of turned it away in the back where the glare was very minimal and then when I put these on I didn't notice a change in that glare at all. Um, one thing though with these is there is the slightest bit of magnification. So it's going to help you see things that are I guess like kind of farther away in your game or if you're like reading something, uh, the text will be a little bit more bold since it's kind of magnifying whatever you're seeing, just the slightest. Now like I said, every time I was gaming or watching TV, I wore these and I have to say I didn't notice an immediate difference or change in my eyes at all. And that's not going to take into effect until maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the line if you wore these every time you were staring at a screen. 
And in the day we live in now, we want to see results immediately from the products we buy. I'm not too sure you're going to be satisfied with these because they don't make you a better gamer. They're not going to, you know, make you more more honed in on what you're doing. You're not going to concentrate any better. Just like that whole G Fuel ripoff stuff. It's it's all a placebo effect, and that's not going to make your gaming any better whatsoever. Which is why I still don't understand why these are so heavily marketed as gaming glasses. Like I said, I bought these in the gaming section at Best Buy, and I've seen these same same exact glasses, maybe not Gunners, but the same exact thing in product boxes that have gaming on them. I saw Battlefield related ones, and it just doesn't make sense to me. You are not gonna see a change when gaming, and the only real benefit is gonna be saving your vision ever so slightly 20 years down the line. So that's gonna be up to you if you want to put your money out and invest in something like this that is more of a health product than a gaming product in the long run. So that's been my experience. I mean, it's not really fair that I did a review on these only after a week of wearing them, but you're not, you guys aren't gonna to wanna to see a review from these 20 years down the line when this review, I guess, would be necessary or relevant to then. So that's my kind of review of it to kind of wrap it up. They don't look the best. I wouldn't wear these out, like I said, uh, but whatever, they're okay for wearing them, um, you know, in or around your house. Um, they're, they're pretty durable and they're gonna have added health benefits later on down the road. But for right now, you are not gonna see any advantage other than a slight color shift in whatever you're playing or watching. So that's gonna wrap that one up, guys. I'm gonna put the link to these and other you know, alternatives in the description down below in case you wanna check them out. And let me know your thoughts down below. Were you under the misconception that these were also like just gaming glasses and they would give you an advantage when gaming? That's what I always thought. Not too sure why, but probably due to their marketing. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. All right, starting off with a, with a double kill. I'll take it there. I will take that. Hello. Three. Oh, shit. Four in a row. Let's go, Air Mouse. That's a fiver. That's a fiver. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting hairy. Come on, Air Mouse. Do me good.